This past week, I experienced the most pain I've ever experienced in my life to the point where all I could do was cry like a baby. It was it was a lot. And today I want to tell you about it. So last Thursday, I uh, had plans to go out of town. We had a big trip planned. So uh, I woke up on um, Thursday morning, getting ready to start my normal morning routine. Uh, I went to the restroom after I left the restroom. I felt like a little little pain in a place that I've never experienced pain before. So I uh, got a little nervous, uh, told my wife. And of course, she started going on YouTube, or not YouTube, but uh, Google and started questioning Google. And the results that we saw on Google were, were a little frightening. Uh, we were reading stuff like, OK, if you're experiencing this, you may need to go to the ER because you might need surgery immediately. So, of course, we're getting nervous. So both of my parents are in the medical field. So I called my mom. I told her what's going on. She said, OK, yeah, go to the ER. Then I called my dad just to make sure, told him what was going on. He said, oh, yeah, go to the ER. So uh, I've never been to the ER before as an adult. So I had no idea uh, what I had to bring or what to expect. Uh, I don't go to the doctor. Uh, I don't get checkups or anything. I don't really have a good relationship with the doctor and the hospital experience. My whole life has kind of been like that. I've, I've had procedures done before, um, minor stuff, but... I just I'm not a fan of the hospital. So so I was going to suck it up and just go through uh, the plans that we, we already had for the day and just deal with the, the pain. But uh, talking to my parents, OK, maybe maybe I need to consider this. So I went to one ER and it was small. I, there was no one in there and they saw me immediately. I told them what was going on and they said, oh, OK, we got to get you checked. We got to do a scan to make sure. Uh, this is not what we think it is. So I, I'm, of course, I'm getting nervous. So they say you, you can wait an hour here for the scan and then the person do the scan or you can go to another ER where they can do the scan more quickly. So I said, all right, it seems like YouTube, um, my parents, Google, all, all this, all these things are pointing towards get results quickly, try to figure out what this is right away so we can address it. So I said, all right, I'm going to go to another ER. My wife drives me to the other ER, wait in there. They take my blood. I give them more in details. Uh, they check me out. Uh, they give me some pain medicine. And I'm just sitting in the ER waiting. And then eventually I get scanned. They, they do the scan. About 30 minutes later, they let me know the results. And it, it wasn't what they thought it was. It wasn't what we thought it was. When we, it wasn't what my parents thought it was. But it still was painful. So I ended up um, getting antibiotics to address it. And uh, I'm, I feel better now. There's still some discomfort that I'm experiencing, but I feel uh, pain-free. What an experience. What an experience. And I want to share this with you because this doesn't happen to me. I don't I don't really have medical issues like this. And to be in the ER, it's just things just escalated really quickly. We had these plans on this Thursday, but next thing you know, I'm feeling pain that I don't know how to address. So I got to get these medical professionals involved. And next thing you know, I'm, I'm in the waiting room with people around me and I, I'm always nervous about that uh, but um, it was a good learning experience me and my wife we took time to pray um, for the people that were that, that we saw in there that were literally screaming about how much pain they were in um, I wasn't to that point but man it just it was a great reminder of uh, the role suffering plays in my life or, or will play in my life and I got to to suffer alongside humanity in, in, in that little that little time frame. I got home. This is where it got worse when I got home because I, I got medicine, some pain medicine to, to deal with the, the pain. But when I got home, the pain medicine started wearing out. So I'm sitting down and uh, I get up and man, it just hits me. Oh my goodness. And I, I can't do nothing but cry. That's how much pain it was. And um, eventually I was able to sit back down and address it and it got better throughout the, the the day. It was a hard time to, to it was a hard time sleeping that night, but um, sleeping has been a little better, and I'm I'm getting healing and I got the help that I need. And it could have been a lot worse. I could have, uh, it could have been what we thought it was, and I could have needed surgery immediately, but I didn't. And um, here I am um, today, and I just want to share that with you because man, life is just so interesting, and we're me and my wife are still trying to figure out why this happened and how 
how this happened and what I could do to prevent something like this happening again. That's what I asked, asked the doctor. And he said, uh, there's nothing. There's nothing I can do. And I'm not convinced of that. Me and my wife are not convinced because we want to know why did this happen? I don't just wake up with this level of pain for no reason. So, you know, I'm trying to get to the bottom of it. And uh, I think that's just that's just my my experiences with suffering. I want to get to the bottom of it. I want to get to the answers. I want to know why this is happening and what I can do to prevent it in the future. And we don't have any answers right now. But I'm just thinking right now out loud, like, what if I don't have answers? And would that be okay? Like, what if, what if it's just, I just experienced this and I just have to suffer for a little bit and then get well? But anyways, um, I feel better now. And I want to thank everyone on my Facebook page. I shared a picture on Facebook and people said they were praying for me. Um, some people from my church texted me saying they're praying for me. So I really appreciate that. Um, man, I don't wish this type of pain on, on no one. And I, I'm able to sympathize a little bit with people that have to go through these very scary medical experiences. We'll be back to our regular scheduled uh, content next week, but I just have to let you know what's going on about uh, my health. And um, I feel good now. I'm, I'm healthy now. I'm still taking the antibiotics. Going to do a checkup. Um, going to get a checkup and uh, the guy's going to, I guess the doctor is going to look at me and make sure that everything is going, going well. I can give you another update there too if you want. I thank you so much for watching. Uh, blessings to the rest of your day and blessings to your week.